Okay, we found the poster. I wonder what's underneath the poster. That's my name, don't wear it out. Welcome adventurers. It is That Adventure Guy, a new day, a new adventure. And today if we have an adventure for you. Actually, some may say we have a big adventure for you. And uh, you can see we have some bicycles here because I woke up yesterday with a little bit of sad news. Uh, a big part of my childhood yesterday passed away, Pee Wee Herman. I'm sure most of you know that by now. And we are visiting a place that I've been wanting to visit for a long time. I've never been here before, but supposedly they have one of Pee Wee's bikes from the, uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure from his movie. So we're gonna go see if we can find that bike. And I have something else I wanna show you. I brought something. I wanna see if we can put it by the bike. Something I had made, look at this. There we go. And it has a picture of him on his bike. It says Paul Rubin, which is Pee Wee's real name. And it says, his big adventure is complete. Now we shall live our own in memory of him. So I had that made for him. I'm gonna see if I can give this to them and if they can display it by the bike. So we're gonna see. Again, I've never been here. I don't know what to expect. And kind of like the, the car show, I don't know much about bicycles either. So. We're gonna be winging this one, and uh, hopefully we can go find Pee Wee's bike. So let's let's go on this adventure. Thanks for joining me. All right, so we just walked in and check out this place. Talk about a lot of bikes. This is bicycle uh, just overload here, man. I don't even know where to start. Actually, I do know where to start. Right here, this museum is actually free. So if you come here, they have a donation box. I got some money here. I'm gonna put it in there. And let's go see, take a look around and see what we can find. Look how cool this is. There's so much stuff here. Wow, just look at these bikes. These are all bikes I really wish I had when I was a kid. They kind of like, that looks very similar to Pee Wee's bike, but I don't think that's his bike. Now look, I mean, they have just bikes hanging off the ceiling. They have them just everywhere. Everywhere you look, there are just more and more bikes just all around. This, he got some tails hanging off the back end of these bikes. That's pretty, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Nice little pink bike here for the ladies. Now, I did learn something about bicycles. Now, you see how this one comes down and up, and every, pretty much everybody knows that that means that's a lady's bike. And the reason they're like that is because when ladies used to ride these with dresses on, or women used to ride them with dresses on, it would make them easier to get on and off with their dresses. So that's, that's why it has a little dip there for women and not men. Because back then men didn't wear dresses. And we got Spider-Man, the spider puppets, hanging from a spider wheel. That's pretty funny. Oh my gosh, check out this bike. It's like super futuristic looking. That is wild. That's a, a Bowden bike. Oh look, you even got Spider-Man back here. There's Spider-Mans everywhere. But look at this bike. This is just, you got the headlights on it. That is wild. I like that a lot. I really like that bike. That might be my second favorite bike in here. I mean, we all pretty much know, I think, what my favorite bike's gonna be. And it's not even over. I mean, this is just the front of it. There's bikes everywhere. Look at this. It's almost like a little rickshaw. Got the, the, the roof on it. It says, Jim Danny bought it at Kaufman's. 1964 next week. You got the, the pedals down there. Got the handlebar in it. That's cool. You got, look at this with, this one has like, like wood boxes on it. Is that a, looks like it could be a radio on the front there. I'm not positive, but it looks like it's a radio. Here's a couple more, kind of in the style of the Peewee bike. You can see there you got the headlight right up over there. These are Schwinn's. This one has like the white on it. That one has a black and silver on it. The white one, that one has more stuff there that looks like it. This one has the headlight in the front. Actually, I think, yeah, this one has a headlight if you look down there too. So they're both pretty much in the same style. And this one, <laughs> look at this. This one just actually has, this is almost like a car headlight. <laughs> look at the size of the headlight on that thing. That is, that's wild. And speaking of wild, look at this, this is, this is a bomb that's turned into a bicycle. It says it's a Jetmobile 
World War II bomb scooter. It was made from a real 100, 100 pound US bomb. That's cool. Very wild. Now, if you watched my last video at the car show, at the, the yeah, races, remember me talking about wanting a Vespa. Look at this. This is a little Vespa, but it's a bike Vespa. I've never seen anything like that. It even has the, the windshield on the front, with the little seat on the back. That's pretty neat. And of course, I know I would never be able to ride one of these. These are one of the, I don't remember what these are called, but they have the, the high tops. Look, they got the handlebars here. The seat is right up here. And this is, I mean, that's a solid, probably five feet off the ground wheel. Not just one, but there's two of them sitting right there. And then you have the pedals actually right there. There's no chain with these. And then they have the tiny back wheel on them. And let's see what this sign says about it. It's a penny farthing bike from the 1870s to the 1880s. This is an older replica. This one is a small one. Most are much taller. Okay, so most are taller than this one. And this one right here, I mean, I'm holding this at eye level right now. It's almost as tall as I am. I remember whenever I was a kid, I used to see these and always want to try one. But now that I'm older, I don't think they're as practical as I thought they were. They are. They got double seaters. You got the, the two seats up here. There's the first seat. There's the second seat. You can see they both have pedals on them. But yeah, it's a, it says it's a 1968 Mini Schwinn. Mini Twin. Schwinn Mini Twin. That's a little bit of a, a tongue twister there. You got another one of these really stretched out motorcycle looking ones. That almost looks like something from American Choppers. That's a custom made bike there. <laughs> <I made> that. <laughs> Somebody just told me that this is a custom one. I kind of figured, oh, look at this Triumph. This is... This one just looks like it's straight out of Evil Knievel. We've got the helmet on there. You got the paint job. It says, make America great again. So apparently it's a Trump bike. But you also got look at this shifter on that. That's pretty neat. All right, now it says right here that the museum continues on floor two. So we're going to make our way up to floor number two. Okay. All right, so check this out. We, uh, saw the one of those that black one over there but they don't have just that black one there they have one two three four more of those really futuristic i've never seen bicycles like this let me know if you have it down in the comments but yeah these are wild i really like them i like how it just kind of just all flows together that's really cool looking oh, look at this little head ornament on here it says uh please do not touch this valuable toy obviously i'm not touching anything here because i know i can't afford anything but that's pretty neat looking. And uh, speaking of touching things, I did ask about putting this up on the, uh, next to the thing. He said, absolutely, he'd love to have it there. So we're gonna give that to them and uh, put it up with the display. And look at Betty Boop over here. Boop, boop, be doop, boop. There's a vintage Pittsburgh beer next to Betty Boop. This is one of their, their t-shirts that they sell here. It says, Pit, uh, Bicycle Heaven, Pittsburgh PBA. O shift. Now the reason it says that, I have to make sure I say it correctly, O shift with a T, is because a few miles away from here, there is the, the uh, steepest street in the United States. It's at a 37% grade. I've, I've had my car in a few times. It's, it's pretty, pretty sketchy, kind of scary. Uh, maybe I'll show that in one of my future videos if I'm around the area. All right, we're gonna head back over this way and head upstairs. We got an old Mackey's drive-through sign over there. It's a pretty big sign too when look, I mean, there's, I guess this, this is uh, one of the rooms that just has tires everywhere and rims up on the ceiling. I mean, thousands of them. This place is just absolutely insane. Yeah, here's the steps that we need to go up. Go to the second one. And before we go up those steps, just want to point out over here, like I said, this is a, a functional shop too. There's all kinds of stuff you can buy in here. You got, look at this, this one's called a silly cycle. Have you ever seen anything? Like this is just like a unicycle in the middle and three little casters on the outside. I don't even understand how this would work. And uh, yeah, that's fairly appropriate name. That's uh, pretty silly. Look at this, I'm gonna have to talk loud because there's some music playing, but uh, this one is really neat. It's a uh, Looks like it has like a police car. It has a little shifter right there. You can see it on there. But that's that's not the neat part. This is the neat part. It actually has a sidecar in it. 
with a little teddy bear in it. Yeah, I mean, this is like something that there's no way a person can fit in there. It's like the size of maybe a th maybe a three-year-old could fit in there. That's about it, though. But that's a that's that's unique. That's pretty neat. And then right behind it, I saw another one that's pretty cool. Look at this one. This one it has like an elliptical machine on the back of it that you pedal. You like kind of step on it. You just like almost like walk it, and it lets you move around on it. That's how you that's how you power it. I've never seen anything like that. Have you? And up here hanging from the ceiling, you can see there's not one, but two more of those bikes with a massive front tire on the front of them. Those, those just are wild. I don't know how anybody rides those. And it just seems, I'm sure it was before like the gears and everything were invented, but that just seems so impractical now. Uh, this, is, this is pretty wild. I don't know. If this is actually considered a bicycle or not, but look at this. This is for sale Straight out of Star Wars. Look at that. That is that is insane. That is fun Wow, this place this is just amazing if you have any kind of bike at all that you've ever seen in your life I can guarantee that they have it here. This is The most insane. I never realized how I live not far from here and I've been wanting to come here for me for years I figured what better time to come since the passing of uh, Pee Wee Herman yesterday. So uh, we're actually going to upstairs while I'm talking to you. But I uh, have been wanting to come here and I never realized just how big this place is. Our, all right, so we just got to the top of the steps and there's, looks like there is, there's a bunch of rooms here. There's room back here. I don't think this is it. Got some tires on the wall, some. These ones have almost like motorcycle seats on them here and all kinds of parts along the wall. But yeah, I don't think this is the room we're looking for. Now, if we come here through this door, we can either go right down this way or left down this way. So we're gonna go left down this way and see if we can find. I mean, look, look at all these forks and it's everywhere, bicycle parts and everywhere. This is, I mean, my, my brain's in overload right now with how much, oh my gosh, look how many tires. There's just tires upon tires upon tires back here. Look at that. I mean, there's gotta be thousands of tires back here. That is insane. And it, you can definitely smell the tires too. Okay, so over here, it looks like you got some more rims for the bikes too. And like, like the tires, just thousands of them. Oh, look at this. This one's, it says it's from 1918. It's a wooden wheel bike with a toolbox. I guess the toolbox would have been in the back there, or maybe that's the toolbox underneath it right there. But as you can see the, the rims on these are actually made out of wood. Not one, but there's, there's a second one here too. <laughs> that's just amazing. I mean, it's hard enough just to see one of these and they have two of them right next to each other. Got a Pittsburgh police bike here. That's pretty neat. It says it's a, an e-bike, so it must be electric to help you pedal faster. But I think we found the room that we're looking for. It says museum this way, so we're gonna head on into here. Oh my gosh, this place is shiny. This is amazing. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna take a look around and see what we can find. Okay, so right off the bat, there's two more of these bikes that I like. But look at these, I've never seen anything like this. This seat is almost as tall as I am. It's like a regular bike on the back, it says wheeler dealer. But look at the way the, the steering wheel, it's, it's flat. It's not like up like a normal steering wheel, it's, it's flat. And they got three of them. This one's really wild looking, look at the steering wheel on that. It says it's a custom made muscle bike. Okay, over here we have a 1960 Zanetti Bike Zetenta C50 folding moped. So this is actually a moped, but you'll notice the, the engine's not on the back or the middle. It is actually up here mounted on the front wheel. So this is where the engine of this moped would be. I've, I've never seen a, a moped with an engine on the front wheel like that. I'm beginning to think that there might be more of these bikes around than, than I knew were even made, considering I never knew that these were made before, but they have a ton of them just sitting right here. Like a, 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 just a bunch of them. All right, this place is be, uh, voted best in the Berg. Fun, one of the finest places to eat, shop, play and kit. But underneath him, look who we found. We haven't found the bike yet, but we found the man himself, Pee Wee Herman. Thanks for all the good childhood memories, buddy.
gonna miss you. Okay, so we found the movie poster for Pee-wee's Big Adventure, but look, this might be a little clue of what we found. Oh my gosh, I was just talking to somebody, and here it is, look at this. He said it is one of, one of four, and supposedly this is the most mint condition one that there is out there right now. But look at this, this is, it says one of four. Apparently there was 14 made, but only four now exist. And I guess Paul Rubin, Pee Wee, owned one of them. That is, I, I'm, I have chills right now. I'm actually getting a little bit emotional. I'm not gonna lie, this is just one of the most amazing things I have ever seen. You know what, before I forget, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stick this right here. And I did ask before I did this and they said it was, it'd be more than fine. They said, just whatever you do, don't touch the bike. So we're definitely not gonna touch the bike, but oh my gosh. Okay, it has the little propeller up front there. And of course, the, the famous lion head. Or, and who can forget these on the back of it? Look at those. I'm not even sure you'd call those up. Maybe saddlebags? I don't know what those exactly are. The famous design on the fender. You got some buttons there. I wonder if those do anything or if those are just for... Uh, I never even realized there's a CB radio on it too. You have some other buttons up on the top there too. Again, I'm, I'm guessing those ones might control the light maybe? And maybe a horn? I don't know. But it looks like some, there's a Pee Wee Herman doll from Pee Wee's Playhouse. That's another thing I used to always watch whenever I was a kid was, was the Pee Wee's Playhouse. And look at this guy. There's a lot of Pee Wee stuff here, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just taking this all in with you guys. This is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, let's get, a, get the whole thing in frame. Look at this. That is, that is my childhood right there in front of me. I didn't, know, didn't even know this was in, in Pittsburgh. I mean, I've known it recently, but I haven't known it for long. And I'm not sure how long it's been here, but if you are in Pittsburgh, this place is free to come to. Come check us out. This is just wild. But if you do come, make sure you leave a donation like I said and like I did. And it does look like I'm not the first person to leave something. There are some, some fresh flowers here too. So it's nice to see that. I'm not the only one thinking of Pee Wee right now. But yeah, this is just such a big part of, of my childhood right here. And look at this. I didn't even know this was ever made. This is uh, a little Pee Wee little tiny peewee scooter bike kind of contraption that from uh his his big or uh, peewee's playhouse remember how he used to bust out the door and fly off with it the lucky he used to be able to buy them i didn't know that yeah like look at the back end of the the iconic peewee bike here look at this that is just it would, i just don't even have words right now that is probably the neatest thing I have seen in years. And it's right here in front of me. Okay, and I said I thought these were saddlebags on the back, and I'm right, this is something you've never really noticed on the, the, the movie, but there are little, like, little locks there that you can open and close them with. Now, looking at it, I mean, this was just a movie prop. It doesn't look like it actually opens. It looks like they're just there. You can see there's no, it doesn't open at all. It just put it on there for the, mo the sake of the movie. That's pretty neat. And, oh, wow, I almost missed that. And there it is right there, property of Pee Wee Herman. That is just so unreal. Look at that, there's the, the uh, control center for the bike right there. You can see all the decals on it and everything. This is this just blows my mind. This is just something else. Look underneath the chair here, or underneath the table, I have something in my mind, look. There we go, there's Cherry from, from Pee Wee's Playhouse, underneath the table. I wonder how many people have walked past here and didn't even see that. That's neat. So right next to Pee Wee's bike, we have an ET bike. It says, a rare and one and only bike ever made. So I'm not exactly sure. It says, made for Universal, Studio, or Universal City Studios in 1982, but was that? Oh, okay, maybe it's because of this right here. It has the ET on the back of it there. 
But yeah, anyone ever made of this? They, this place just has it all. But yeah, that's literally right in front of this. This is, this is why we're here. This is just amazing. No, look at this. This one looks like it's straight out of Tron, doesn't it? There's a little windshield on it. It says Hutch, and actually there's not one, but again, there's at least two of them in here. There's probably even more of them than that, but that's wild. Over here we have some some more old, just this one's from 1937. It says it's a scooter. Yes, we have no bananas. Okay, this is actually, this one is actually, wow. Okay, this one says, yes, we have no bananas. And it's from a Three Stooges episode. Look at this. There's a, a Three Stooges bike here. You have the Pee Wee Herman bike, you have an ET bike, and now there's a Three Stooges bike here. Let me see if I could over here get a better view of this. This is just one of the craziest museums I have ever been to. Definitely get down here. And if you, uh, that's not enough for you to even have over here one of the little miniature Clydesdale kind of uh, adult beverage carts here. It says this one, it says a Buckeye mini horse. There's a case of Stroh's in the back of it. That is neat, that is, that is very cool. Oh wow. Okay, just to show how easily I get distracted. I was gonna show you something else and then I saw the Three Stooges one, but if we come right over here, look at this thing. It says this is the freeway car, the freeway car. Let's take a look inside of it. There's really nothing to this car. And it says that it was 1980s, it gets 105 miles to the gallon, goes 80 miles an hour. Could you imagine? I mean, look, this is the size of my hand. I, I'm a good, probably two feet taller than this. Going 80 miles an hour on this, eight more, eight more miles an hour, you'd probably be getting back to the future. Wow. Let's take another peek inside of here. Let's take a look, look at this. That is just so cool. It says, you can sit in the car to take photos. Do not play the key and control the police. Uh, you know what? That's so small, I'm not gonna get in it because I don't think I'd be able to get out of it, to be honest with you, but that is pretty neat that you can get in there for a photo. Okay, this one is called The Wizard, and the only reason I know I've heard of this one is because I've seen them before on American Pickers. If you guys have ever watched that show, I wonder if they've ever been here because Mike would go crazy. But look, look at this engine on it. I mean, it's bicycle-ish. It's like a mix between a bicycle and a motorcycle. More motorcycle than bicycle, but that is just wow, that is so cool. And I mean, this is the second floor. This is just part of the second floor. This is the museum section of the second floor. And this whole thing is basically a museum, but um, this is just a small section. You can see thousands of bicycles here easily that you can come visit. Here's another one. This is kind of like that thing on the peewee bike. There's the, the peewee bike in the back over there right in front of us. You can see the back end of it there. But yeah, right there is Pee Wee, and then here's another one of those, like he has on the front of his. <laughs> Over here, of course, we have Elvis. Not sure why Elvis is in a bike museum, but this is pretty amazing. It's, he's as big as I am, that's, that's cool. Okay, now this one over here, look at this bike. It says it's a Huffy radio bike, and it actually has a radio built into the bicycle. That is just, that's too much. That's too much. I definitely would have wanted one as a kid though. Actually, I kind of want one as an adult. But look at that, that is just so cool. It says over here that this bike is an 1890s Elva bicycle sold by Sears and Roebuck. Roebuck. Look at this, I mean, this is all wood even. Like where the chain goes is made of wood. The frame for the tire, the rim is wood. The, the fender's wood. The only thing that's really not wood is the seat. There might even be wood underneath the leather. And the frame is metal, but there's wood even on the handles. That's, that is pretty wild looking. Look at that thing from 1890. Over here, there's even racks of bicycle and motorcycle vintage clothing. It says some are for show, some are for sale. So and you got some racing stuff here. I can see, I see just out of curiosity, I wonder how much this one is going for. Okay, no, this one's not for sale. It just says who, whose it is. So that's who owns this one. But 
that is, that's just amazing. Everything in and unicycles, I guess that's another form of bicycle. Look at this one, this one, this one's huge. I mean, the seat is all the way up here. I have to go way up. I mean, it's only a foot off the ground, but it's gotta be a solid, I'm guessing it's this one. So it says it's a, a six foot one. So this is, could you imagine being six foot off the ground with just one wheel? I guess unicycle technically is a form of bicycle. Okay, you're gonna have to excuse me here, but I'm not sure who Eddie Fiola is, but apparently this is the holy grail, or as it should be, the scruffy tail of BMX. So I guess this is his, his BMX bike here. So this is one of the holy grails of bicycles, at least of BMX bikes. That's pretty wild. Again, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know who that is, but I guess that's pretty impressive. Okay, over here it says press button to play Golf with the Stooges. So we're going to play some Golf with the Stooges. Nope, nope, no we're not. Try one more time. Oh, wait, here we go, there it goes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that, okay, that was, oh, oh, oh that, that, that was, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that's, I'm not sure what's going on. This is a neat looking light though. Got it. Some stuff in there. Oh, okay. He's he's still going on. I wonder if we can turn him off. Okay, we turned him off. And look at this. This is like we're in a thunderstorm here, and there's a person at the other end of this thunderstorm. And this is just all. I don't know what part of the. I guess this is a chain guard for bikes, but this whole thing is just chain guards for bikes. And I saw this guy over here, and I thought he was going to be my way while I'm filming, but eh, it turns out it's just a mirror, and that's that's just me. Yeah. This place is just really something else. All right, so we find our way back to Earth. At least I thought we were going back to Earth, but no. There is there's a pinball machine here. Unfortunately, it's out of order right now, or I would definitely be playing it. You know, I love pinball. I might go back to that uh, pinball museum just on my own. I've been there once or twice already after I filmed that video just to play. It's so amazing. So much fun. Okay. Let's try to airplane over here looks like a missile hanging there we got the stop sign the traffic lights guitars and the falls a give me an a looks like attached to this pinball machine is actually a signed photo of henry henry winkler the fawns himself a got a an album here it looks like it says sit on it and it's also signed by the fawn so i think this is the fawn's bike happy day show okay so this bike okay a bike that you could buy from the fawns hey there it says right there hey from happy days so you could actually buy a fawn's bike i never knew that that's 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 pretty neat now that says that this jersey here or shirt, I guess is it bicycle jersey or bicycle shirt, racing shirt, racing jersey, or whatever it is. It says that, that's okay, it says right there, jersey. That it is from Fred Rompelberg, who holds the speed, bicycle speed record of 168 miles an hour. Could you imagine? I'd be scared going 168 miles an hour in a car, let alone a bicycle. That is just too much. That's too fast, that's too fast for a bicycle. Okay, it says the bike tree. This freak of nature was found in rural Ohio. I'm not gonna read the rest of it. I'm just gonna show you because it's m better to see than to read. Look at this tree that actually has not one, again, not one, no, no, no. We have two bikes, two that have grown into the tree. Look, it goes right through the tree. <laughs> oh, wow. I remember in Disney at Fort Wilderness uh, lodge or the, the campground, they used to have a tree. I think it had a lawnmower that was grown into it, but look at this. The bicycle was actually right into the tree. It just grew, the tree just grew right around the bike. That, that is so neat. Look at that. That is, that is just amazing. It's hard to see, but it is a Darth Vader. I'm gonna get out of here because there's music playing and I will explain why I'm wearing this shirt. This is the only shirt I have that has 
some kind of connection to Darth Vader or to Pee Wee Herman because I don't know if you know this or not, but Disney World has a ride called Star Tours. Actually, I don't, know, I don't know if it's still called Star Tours, but it used to be called Star Tours. And the pilot of your ship in Star Tours, it was part of the ride, was voiced by, uh, by Pee Wee Herman, by Paul Rubens. And he does not do the voice in the ride anymore, but they took the animatronic out of the ride. And he is now a DJ, it's called DJ Rex in one of the, the restaurants in Universal or uh, Disney World, Hollywood Studios. So you can still see him and hear Paul Rubin or Pee Wee's voice. It sounds just like Pee Wee, but he's the DJ at the, the I think it's the Cantina maybe, probably wrong because I haven't seen that yet. I haven't been there since he moved, but you can still, still go. He still lives on at Hollywood Studios. Okay, I thought, I thought the, the two seat bicycle was impractical, but this one has, there's one seat, two seats, three seats we're not done yet and four seats and it, it says it's the monkey's bike so this must be the bike okay i remember seeing them riding this years i mean this is when i was probably four or five years old but i used to watch the show reruns of it with my mom and i remember seeing them riding a, a bicycle with four of them sitting on it so this must be the actual bike from the monkeys that is amazing that is pretty amazing I don't remember their names. I remember Peter, is there a Paul maybe? Paul Nooney or something like that? I don't know, I'm not, I don't remember their names. It was, it was 30 or 40 years ago last time I saw that show. But there it is, the, the bicycle from the, the monkeys. Look at this, this is like a little soapbox derby car or something. Actually, no, it's not a soapbox derby because I don't think those have engines. This one does have an engine motor on the back of it. It says it's a 1937, that's, that's 90, almost 90 years old motor on the back of that thing. And it still looks like it's pretty much brand new. It looks like it's never even fired. There's no smoke exhaust on it or anything. That is neat. And I just now realized, I'm looking up, that all these things on the, the ceiling, you can see them up here, those are all just bicycle seats that are all lining the ceiling. Lit, lit, uh, lighting up the ceiling. They're all painted pretty much uniformly except for a few in the middle there. That's pretty neat. And then over here there's more uh, rims over on that side over there. And there's a bunch of other bicycle parts just everywhere. This is this is neat. Not only do we have bikes, but we also have Wienermobiles. I wonder if that's a, like a pedal car. It looks like it is if you look underneath there. That is amazing. Wow. Uh, put that up there is another thing I did not think I would see today, the, the Wienermobile. At first glance, it looks like this is a motorcycle. Unless you look closer, you can see there are actually pedals there. So it is just a bicycle made to look like a motorcycle. Okay, so the first video I ever did on this channel was the Kennywood video, which I know a lot of you have seen and liked and commented. That's really what got things started. But I did not expect to see Kennywood memorabilia here, and here we have it. There's a uh, Noah's Ark. Remember we walked through that together? And that's the last one in the world, apparently. I just read that. Got some more stuff. There's the Thunderbolt. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to film on that one. We have over here a Kennywood Park original arrow, which I actually have one at my house as well. It says, okay, this is the, the, this arrow is the, the template, it says. So this is one of the arrows that they use to cut out the rest of the arrows. That's neat. That is much neater than mine. Mine's just an actual arrow that they, they use. But this one was what they probably made to use to make mine. Okay, this is a pretty unique bike. This is neat. It says, uh, Shelby Bicycle. The eyes light up and the horn was a quack. So... That might not make any sense now, but until you see this, look at that. It is a Donald Duck bike. And his eyes light up. I bet they look like, like demon child. You can see the little beady holes in there. It probably looks like a demon duck there. And the horn quack. So you got the little demon eyes blaring at you and, and it's quacking at you. That's, that's neat. It could be nightmarish, but it, I think it's pretty neat. Okay, this says over here it is a monarch 1948 monarch twin 
Over here, it says this is one of the rarest mo motorbikes. It says made from 1949 to 1954. So that doesn't really make sense because it says 1949 is when it started. But over here, it says 1948. So it's in that area. But look at this. It's a bicycle. I guess it's kind of like a moped. And it has the engine on it, too. It says Monarch Super 20. It almost looks like a Harley. It definitely has some Harley influences to it. That is, that's, that's very neat. No good. Like I said, not, not only do they have one, they have three of them, because, you know, one's not enough. That's just so neat, so wild. Take a look at the front ends of these. I gotta be careful while I'm, oh my gosh, I just saw something else. <laughs> okay, okay, this is definitely the most dangerous thing I've seen here. I thought the, the four uh, person motorcycle was, was uh, or four person bike was dangerous. Look at this. This is a motor-powered unicycle. It's a unicycle with an engine. How, how does, I can't even wrap my arms around how or why you would wanna, yeah, no, I just don't have words. I don't have words, look at this. I mean, here's the handlebars here and there. And then you just got this big monstrosity in the middle and then the engine's right there and there is the wheel. But it, yeah, it's, gasoline powered motorcycle. Like I said, there's the engine on top of the one wheel because it's a unicycle. So engine, one wheel, handlebars, brakes. And I, again, I, I, I'm guessing one of these must be the throttle and the other one's the brake. And I don't know how you would keep your balance on it because if you ever watch a motorcycle, they're always going forward and backwards to keep themselves steady. So that's just, that's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. And I'm looking at it. Okay, now I feel kind of dumb. It is not a unicycle like I thought it was. Apparently it was used, you would put on these roller skates here and you would hold this in front of you and it would pull you along. All right, we're gonna start making our way, like it says over here, back to earth. But there is just, you, if you wanted to go through everything here, it would take months, if not years, to look in just appreciate everything they have here. There is so much to see. Like I said, look, I mean, there's just even buckets upon buckets of bike parts just everywhere you look. So much to see here, but yeah, we're gonna start making our way back down and if anything else sticks out to me, I will, I will definitely show it. That is if I can find the exit. I think it might be this way. Yes, okay, here it is. So here's the steps over here. Oh, look at this, they got some kites over here. See up there? That's pretty neat. Okay, so we found the steps, so we're gonna make our way back down. I am not sure how I missed this bike when I walked in. Okay, you see this blue frame here with the red wheel with the American flags? There's the back wheel. And let's, let's follow this chain. The chain goes to here. Okay, and over to here, there's another chain. So that's the first half of it. Then it goes up to this white frame right there. We're not done yet though. And then the chain will follow up to here. Here's the pedals, and here's the seat. This is taller than I am. The seat's up higher than I am, and I'm like 5'11-ish, 5'10", 5'11". I might get probably closer to 5'11 than 5'10". So yeah, you got one, two, three bikes all joined together. Wow. I wonder if that's easy or harder. That can't be easy to ride. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess hard. You can see there's actually pegs on it to help you. I guess that's to get on and off of it. I couldn't even imagine trying to get on that. You'd have to land it up against something, I guess. That's neat though. Yeah, I just saw that and I've been here for a good amount of time and I, I've walked through these areas quite a few times already and I'm still seeing stuff that are new to me. So this is just, just so neat. There's so much to see here. You're never gonna see it all. It just never in a lifetime could you see everything that's in here. Again, something I somehow missed. This is, says this bike was used in the movie A Man Called Otto. Now it's a newer one. I haven't seen that yet. That's was 1922. It says Tom Hanks actually rode this bike. That's wild. Tom Hanks, definitely one of my favorite actors. But yeah, he, he was riding this bike. His, his, his buttocks was right there. The Tom Hanks bike. Okay, as I'm walking out this the rims on this actually definitely caught my eyes. Have you ever seen it? It looks like there's spring-loaded rims all around the outside. There's like an inner rim and then an outer rim 
with springs in between them. That is that is very neat and unique. It says that's a that's a Schwinn as well. It's everywhere I look, just something different. There's another one of those Whizzers. So much neat, neat, unusual stuff. Okay, so there is not your typical gift shop when you leave here, but they do have some vintage things that you can buy. You got these license plate. It says that they're from the 1950s for $30 each. There's some strap bands from the United States Steel. Only $3 each. That's pretty neat. Again, some more vintage license plates. It looks like these are actually real tags, real plates. So that's pretty neat. Some stickers, some other stuff, all kinds of bicycle stuff. You got some Hot Wheels, uh, some the 1980s Schwinn catalog. This is just so much stuff here. Again, this, like I said, not your typical gift shop when you leave, but definitely some neat stuff. I was, I was trying to figure out what these were, and these are actually the tassels that you would put on your handlebars, like the streamers. So you can you can pick these up here, little plastic ones. It says uh, those are four dollars a pair. Tassels, they call them. Also have some patches, some safety lights. This wow, this is so neat. And of course, if since you are in a bicycle place, there's not a bell or anything to ring. You have to honk for help. You can give it a little honk if you need a help. Need some help. Uh, yeah, I think that's. We're gonna head back outside now. Oh, hold on, wait, look at this. This is another thing I did not think I would see. And this is something I've been fighting with at my house for the last three weeks. The hornet's nest. There's an, actually a hornet's nest hanging up there. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna head back out. Ooh, kind of bright out. But yeah, this is bicycle haven, or bicycle heaven. I always wanna call it haven, but it's bicycle heaven. You can buy bikes, they do repairs. Um, they have movie props, they have obviously bicycles that you can rent out uh, museum I was talking to one of the the workers in there he said that they actually have over 4,000 bikes in there so yeah that's that's quite a few bikes a lot of a lot to see there so much to see there and look what we have over here you might remember this guy from one of my past videos there's Randy from Randy land so that's a another neat video so if you haven't seen that one make sure to check it out but uh, I think that's that's pretty much going to wrap it up for us today here at Bicycle Heaven. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe. If you haven't checked out Randy yet, check him out. But I will see you on the next video. We came, we saw Pee Wee Herman's bike. That was just absolutely amazing. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. And if you're around here, make sure you check it out. It is, it is just incredible. You don't want to miss it. But thanks for joining me on this adventure. A little bit emotional for me. But we, we saw a lot. We, Came, I put the little plaque down. The owners were really happy about that and it was nice that they let me do that. So I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Thanks guys. Bye.